I'm shaking folks, back with another reaction, back with some more Sinead O'Connor. Once again, big shout out to those who've been following this deep dive. It's clear that uh, the late uh, singer has a great number of fans who are highly passionate about talking about her work. As I mentioned at the beginning of the deep dive, it's an artist I knew only very vaguely. As Luca wakes up, we'll see if she comes over to jump on my lap. I'm guessing she might. Uh, and yeah, I uh, wanted to give a big shout out to Adrian, who shared a number of albums, as well as uh, Philip, who shared The Lion and the Cobra, so we can go through them all in order. And the next tune on The Lion and the Cobra, 1987, is Troy. I don't know if I mentioned this at the end of the last reaction, um, but, you know, my first thought is that it might relate to the legendary city, which, you know, for many generations, <clears throat> people weren't sure, is it entirely... Um, you know, mythological, is there a um, archaeological basis? If you didn't know, it's now pretty well established. Um, it, they know where it was. It's, I think, a place in modern-day Turkey, but um, I think it's called Troy Three for archaeological purposes. In any case, um, I do wonder whether this will be a reference to that, um, that legendary story. I, are you going to knock everything down? You really look like you're trouble right now. Well, I guess we'll find out. Uh, but yeah, ultimately, that would be my first thought. I suppose it might be about someone named Troy, which makes me think of Troy's Bucket, which is a Goonies reference. I doubt that's the case. My inclination would be more toward the historical and legendary reference. Either way, let's find out. This is Sinead O'Connor. The tune is Troy, and it's from her 1987 debut album, The Lion and the Cobra. Trouble. I remember it. I'm dumping in a rainstorm. I'm sitting in the long grass in the summer, keeping warm. Just 
That's one of the craziest tunes I've ever heard. I would like, I can't believe it. Every aspect of the sonics, her vocal performance, the intensity of it, the dynamic nature of it, um, the power of it. I like, I can't even believe what I just heard. Admittedly, it feels interpersonal, but there were moments in some of the lines, you know, about burning and about like, we wouldn't be in this if you hadn't brought me here, where it's like, okay, so are we, like, basically, is she Helen? Like, is that, you know, and then it's like, I don't know, bottom line, uh, I felt like there were moments where it could relate to the Troy legend, but then other points where it just felt like a story between people and one of very intense emotions. But honestly, like, I don't, like, I'm surely, slightly incoherent at this point because I have honestly I've heard a lot of great tunes I've been going through these journeys there's been many points where I've been brought to the point of tears I like number one was on edge for most of that reaction and I like I just need to digest I feel like Thomas Dolby fans will be disappointed I was supposed to do one more reaction after this and it was a Thomas Dolby reaction I don't know how I'm supposed to react to anything else after this so that may have to wait to the next batch so um, don't know if any Dolby fans are here, but if so, I do apologize, but I will get to that uh, first thing in the next session. But holy smokes, I just need to absorb this and just uh, think about what just happened uh, and eventually re-listen. I look forward to people's comments. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Uh, so from a non-mischievous Luca and I, uh, I do wish you a great day, a great evening, whatever it may be. Let me know what you think of this tune. I will see you next time. Wow.